my video for December 23rd, 2017 is entitled Perpetual Victims Often Become Terrorists. It's hard for me to comprehend how I could have been so brainwashed in my early years of Bible reading and trying to follow the prime directive of loving everyone. Now, being in the latter stage of my life, I come to see how those I was taught were God's chosen people, the Jews, have become international terrorists. Of course, modern Jews are not the same as those talked about in the Bible. On the contrary, most Jews come from the land between the Caspian and Black Seas, from eastern Turkey and northwestern Iran up through the southwestern part of what was called the Soviet Union. They were known as Ashkenazis. When given the choice of becoming Christian or Muslim, they chose to become Jews. A warlike people, they imported rabbis and developed their own version of Judaism. In the 20th century, they cemented their takeover of Western Europe and the USA. Midway in that century, Israel was made a state. Progressively, they have terrorized most of the world with a game plan of radical reduction in human population. Will the real creator finally stop the insanity? If not, I lived my life in vain and the human race is doomed. It's interesting. I got a comment on the previous video uh, from Ernest Rothschild, and instead of R-O-T-H, spelled it R-A-U-T-H, and the rest of it's the same. And he wrote, excuse me, we own both the United States and the United States of America. Foreign corporations, annexation under the United States of North America. <laughs> this is a game that the international bankers have been playing for a long time. And when I say international bankers, you need to know that the House of Rothschild is at least the figurehead leader of this movement of international bankers that has fomented wars throughout not just the 20th century and into the 21st century, but even in, in the previous two centuries, the House of Rothschilds has been influential in influencing the, the various wars that have taken place around the world. War is their game. Lies is their method. And they have perpetuated lies on top of lies. And they do, as, as Ernest Rothschild said, they do seem to own or control at least much of the United States, uh, as well as the Western world and perhaps even the Eastern world. I'm not sure where China and, uh, and India stand. I, I'd like to think that Russia, because they are so hated, but of course now bear in mind that even the hatred could be just a play because they are masters of deception and they have deceived the whole world for a very long time when i say they now i'm going beyond even the house of rothschild but the dark forces who have been manipulating humanity for millennia that dumbing us down uh turning off the code on so that we don't have access to all of our natural talents and abilities that were the god-given gifts that we were uh, created with in the in the beginning. At least that's my my take on it. I, it resonates as being the truth, and yet the God that created us was superimposed by an evil entity called Lucifer, or whatever you want to call the dark the dark force, fallen angel realm. But it was taken over by that, and and we have been many of us have been struggling to get free. Now, I watched a movie, where did I write the name of that down? Spiritual Warriors, in which, and I, I watched that yesterday, 
And I don't watch very many movies, but my normal Friday night uh, meeting, uh, of course, is not being held for the uh, next couple of weeks because of the holidays. And so I watched a movie instead and shut down my uh, my Facebook and just turned off my computer. It didn't turn it off, but I, I put it to sleep. Uh, in any case, uh, that movie, uh, and I'll probably make a video about that, seems to put in mind that this this whole thing is just like a fight between uh, apparent dark and apparent light. And in, in that particular movie, the, the warrior, the spiritual warrior of the light met his brother, who was the spiritual warrior of the dark, and they were from the same family. Uh, again, I might make a video about that. I, I do believe I'm going to be making a video with Thomas Hollick and my, for my next video. Uh, and I'm going to get back to Aristo here uh, uh, to make a video sometime be between Christmas and New Year, uh, depending on his availability. Uh, but I've been struggling with trying to make sense of an insane world all of my life. I really did think that there would be such a thing as the kingdom of heaven on earth. Many people, of course, have said, no, it's never going to happen on earth. Earth is, is I don't know what earth is. I, I, I really don't know what earth is. Some say we're never going to be able to become fully what we are till we leave earth and go into some non-physical dimension. Well, I don't want a non-physical dimension. I, I relate to being a human being, having a body. Uh, I don't mind having more gifts, talents, and abilities uh, opened up for me. But by the same token, I don't want to rule over anybody. I don't want to be the boss. I just want to be able to live in a world where we love one another. Now, why is that such a far-fetched and hard-pressed thing? And, and why would a, a loving God allow a warlike being or generation of generations of beings, why would they be allowed to, to run roughshod over the human rights of most people? on the planet. Now, I said perpetual victims become terrorists because look at the world today. Who are the terrorists? They're painted to be uh, Palestinians, uh, Arabs, uh, people of uh, uh, from third world countries. Let's put it that way. People from third world countries become the terrorists because in their countries, they have been suppressed and pushed down and not given opportunity to gain some semblance of, I don't even want to say normalcy because the normal thing is to be a slave. That's back become the norm for humanity. And how are we going to know what it's like to experience real freedom unless we're given the opportunity to not be enslaved, to get out of the bondage of slavery. We need to defeat people like Ernest Rothschild and others of that ilk. They need to come down. They need to, to give up their insane quest to dominate the world, to rule everyone and be the fake gods that they can never be. God is love. I mean, I believe that still, but we don't experience love. We experience all sorts of victimization and all sorts of lies and all sorts of crimes against humanity. And it goes on and on and on. And I wonder, when is it going to stop? I'd hope I haven't lived my life in vain. I'd like to actually be part of the ushering in of the kingdom of heaven on earth. How about you? Thank you for listening and namaste.